All right, seeing as we have a quorum of the council present, uh, we're calling this meeting to order at 1235. Uh, this is a very, very brief agenda. Um, I just mentioned we do have a meeting this Saturday for those of you that are able to attend. Uh, we also have two more capital investment listing sessions on December 9th. And uh, the um, December 16th, we have a regular town council meeting and we also have a public forum on the appropriation of uh, outside the budget. And then the swearing in of newly elected town officials will be January 6th. Uh, so we have no hearings. We're going on to proclamations. The first one is the Human Rights Day proclamation. Yes. Is Amherst Media recording or are we recording? Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Is Amherst Media recording? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. If not, I brought you back up. Let's try it. No. Do you want that's the backup? No, that's fine. Um, okay, so the first is the Human Rights Day Proclamation. Can we have it on the screen? George, are you going to take care of the changes from July? Am I going to what? Take, take care, care of the, the changes. changes. Uh, right this second? <laughs> yep. I don't see how I can. <laughs> do, do, do you want to see the computer with them? Yeah, it would be helpful. I have my notes. But okay, we, GOL just got to look at these this morning, and because of that, there are some changes, which is what we will be voting on. Okay, so um, we have voted this proclamation to be clear, whoops, we have voted this proclamation to be clear, consistent, and actionable, but we have made three small changes, two, two small changes. I see three, oh, that's a question. That's yes. the question. Yeah, right. Um, first is in the third whereas, the residence, capital R, should be a small r. And finally, under voted this fourth day of December 2019, change, I think it's second to fourth. So we changed the date. Um, and then there was a more substantive question as to who is the us in the final therefore. And now, therefore, we, the Amherst Town Council, proclaim Human Rights Day and invite the residents of Amherst to join us in a communal reading and I think in the past, it was the Human Rights Commission that was included in this. When this was uh, revised and uh, for final approval, um, it was changed to simply the town council. And so I think that's a question that um, perhaps an answer could be provided. Do we want to make this, uh, we, the Amherst Town Council, proclaim Human Rights Day and invite, uh, invite the residents of Amherst to join the town council. The town council, comma, the human rights commission, comma, yeah. comma, and the residents. And so we invite the residents of the Amherst to join us, the town council, and the human rights commission. That sounds good. Would be then the correction. Is that? Yep. So in, again, just to make it clear for the clerk, we invite the residents of Amherst to join us, comma, the town council and the Human Rights Commission in a communal reading. The rest continues as Right. Written. So those are the three changes that we made. And um, with that clarification. Is there, is there a motion? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. I mean Front of me. I move to approve the Human Rights Day Proclamation of 2019 as amended. As a is there a second? Second. Any further discussion? Then all those in favor, raise your hand and say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Okay. Thank you for that one. And we'll move on to the next one, which is regarding First Church. Okay, and again, Mandy, do you have the changes? So I emailed them to, I think, can you get them? I could probably, the no, church, yeah. In the first whereas, the church no, it was an attachment, there. so it must be a different one. I'm sorry, it's not updating. I, my email's not updated. I sent the original one. Should I connect my computer to come up with it? Well, unless you could just show it, tell us the changes. 
Um, okay, I can, I, I can do that. Um, Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so let's just show the proclamation up on the screen. This is the, this is the first church? Yes. It's not on letterhead yet, but um, the changes were in the first whereas, the parentheses that said the church, the C in church would be capitalized and be put in quotations. Um, and then everywhere throughout the proclamation, the resolution, which includes the third whereas, two changes to church would be the C capitalized, the fourth whereas, the one word in church would be, again, capitalized C, in the fifth whereas, the C in church would be capitalized, and in the now therefore, the two references to church and churches, would the C would also be capitalized, so that's just a sort of definitional change. Um, v, one, two, three, four, fifth whereas, the, at the end, the semicolon and the word and was changed to a period, and the Mr. Perez's name was removed and the words the man's put in its place so that that whereas reads the church continues to work for the man's return to his family in Springfield <clears throat> and has no desire to become a permanent residence. And the very last signed on behalf of was removed and put to voted this day of um, December 2019. Is there any other changes at this time? All right. Um, George couldn't go with what our vote was. I'm sorry? Your, our vote, GOL's vote. Uh, GOL voted on this as, as also on the previous uh, proclamation for zero <clears throat> with one absent, that it was clear, consistent, and actionable. And we, ha we have Reverend Kemper with us. Is there anything you'd like to say at this time? Um, I would simply like to thank you all once again for your support in the past, these past more than two years now, when we've been providing sanctuary to Mr. Paris, and to thank you for your continued support. We did not want to need to come before you and ask you again for further support. We worked very, very hard, especially over the last uh, four or five months to bring sanctuary to an end, but that has not happened. We do not want to release Mr. Perez to the whims of immigration authorities and possible deportation, nor do we want to become a permanent residence. So we are hoping that we will be granted a waiver to continue to provide safe uh, conditions for him to stay temporarily in the church until it is safe for him to return to his family. Thank you. Is there a motion? Sorry. You. Oh, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. Me and Joe. I move to adopt the resolution in support of First Congregational Amherst United Church of Christ's request to maintain a temporary shelter as, um, I guess it's amended, as amended. Right. And a second? Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Raise your hand. Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Okay. Going on to the next agenda item. Basically, this is just a communication to you, uh, the, uh, but I do want to hear from you as to whether or not you would like at a future council meeting to have any of the annual um, reports from the school committee, the library board, the housing authority, the Oliver, Oliver Smith Will electorate, or the Board of License Commissioners. If you would like to have them actually come to the meeting, and give us an oral report and have an opportunity to ask questions, please let me know. And we will schedule that at a much more mutually convenient time. Any comment, question? Alyssa. Reflecting back to my comment in November at town council meeting when we found out for the first time that we were going to be getting those annual reports on the second, I indicated that we, 
certainly appreciated their compliance with the charter, but that we didn't have any input as to what those reports would look like, and that I thought that was strange. And so I would like us to have a future town council discussion that says, well, now that we know what they think they'd like them to look like, and we've received them, and we've like sort of compared and contrasted, if we have any thoughts as to what else they might include next time, or if we want to hear more about okay something, I think that would be a useful conversation to have rather than necessarily assuming we need to bring them all in to give a presentation. Okay. We'll place that on our future agenda. Any further conversation? I don't believe that this requires a motion or a vote, so we just move on to, uh, this was actually tidying up something, uh, and that is we had asked the town manager a couple months, several months back, to look into three issues created are, are stated in the charter, and that was the creation of the position of American Disabilities Act coordinator, uh, permitting non-citizens to vote in town elections and to seek and hold town elective offices, and lowering the voting age for town elections. Mr. Bachman did report on all three of those, and at that point we did not take action or anything else, but I wanted to see if there was any vote at this point to just say yes we've received these and we've complied by that requirement of the charter yes mandy joe um, do we believe as a council that we need to accept those like by motion accept the receipt of those reports because you know move to accept essentially motion to accept as meeting the charter's requirements that the town council investigate the feasibility of these three things? It was my impression that we probably did. So I will make a motion to accept the receipt of the town manager memo regarding topics for study as meeting the charter requirements to, for the town council to investigate the feasibility of those topics for study. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Any further discussion? Alyssa. I'm sorry. I'm having some connectivity issues here. Um, without looking at the charter again, which I'm sure you have up in front of you, what is it that we are doing by accepting this? Are we saying we just accept that an assignment was completed, or are we saying we accept that the issues are now completely dealt with? Because those are two different things. And so the town council is supposed to get a report, as I recollect, on these issues, but then are we also saying we're done with investigating these topics, or are we just saying thank you for those reports? I mean, I'm totally fine with separate things. I'm just trying to understand which thing we're doing. Thank you. Mandy Jo. So the charter, so it's section 10.12, and it says, by December 31st, 2019, the town council and town manager shall investigate the feasibility of taking the following actions. The list below is in no particular order of priority, and then it lists those three items there um, that are on creating the position of ADA Act Coordinator, permitting non-citizens to vote in town elections and seek and hold elective office and lowering the voting age um, in town elections. So my motion is intended to say we have met the December 31st requirement to investigate the feasibility of taking the following actions. Doesn't mean we're done with that investigation or that we've decided what to do with that investigation, but that we've met those requirements. Okay. There's a motion on the floor. There's a second. Any further questions? No. Yes. Andy. Yeah. The only thing I uh, ask Mandy is whether we should also include specific reference to the section of the charter um, right as you, within your motion. I would do that when I was making it. I didn't have the charter in front of me, so I didn't know which section it was. So yeah, if we could add charter section 10.2 into the motion. 10.12. 10 yeah. And then along with that, you, Athena, you might want to um, attach and refer to the town manager's report where he reported back to us on this. Okay. Any further discussion? Yes, Alyssa. So what's the public supposed to think we actually have accomplished here? Because I'm, I'm confused by the word 
saying we've completed our investigate. We haven't completed our investigation. We've completed the charter requirement right. of investigation for December 31st. We have not decided whether or not we were going to continue to discuss these items. So what message are we sending to the public in terms of, yes, we got the report, really useful, complies with the charter. What are they supposed to do if they wonder what else we're doing with this? Until such time as we bring this back on the agenda because we decide we want further discussion, even as it may relate to the budget or other items that are not budget items. Uh, we've complied by the charter by investigating them, but that doesn't mean that they can't ever be brought back up. Go ahead. What I would say is that we've completed our investigation and it is done okay. until we talk about it again. Not it's kind of done, but maybe we talk about it again. It's done. We complied with the charter. Okay. It's over until somebody comes to you and says, I want us to talk about this again. Okay. Could we have a reading of the motion? To accept the receipt of the town manager memo regarding topics for study as meeting the charter requirement, section 10.12, as requiring topics for study. Okay. Is there any change that you see to that motion, Lisa? We've met, the, we've met the requirement of the charter is what I've heard. Alyssa, so, I mean, I'm sorry. So Mandy the Joe. charter required the town manager and town council to investigate the feasibility. We, the, the motion is intended to say the town manager's memo counts as the town council's investigation of the feasibility, not just the town manager's investigation of the feasibility. I'm asking is can the motion reflect that we have completed 10.12 period it just to be super clear I know I'm belaboring it but that's because I didn't have a motion sheet that I could that's okay pull apart. getting getting the motion to the, reflect what we feel it needs to is there any change you see in the motion Athena can you read it again to accept the receipt of the town manager memo regarding topics for study as meeting the charter requirement section 10.12 <coughs> as requiring topics for study Say as, as completing. As completing. Okay, so there's a friendly amendment to change the word of to completing. Is that acceptable to you, Pat? Okay. All right. Any further discussion? Then all those in favor, raise your hand and say aye. Aye. Opposed. Abstain. Okay. Um, that is. There are no more topics. Uh, we are not going to an executive session. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Okay. Is there a second? Okay. Is there any further discussion? Yes, Alyssa. You're, you're going to kill me. But, <laughs> Mandy Joe, I'm sure you still have it up. The Human Rights Declaration, which is somewhat different but not a lot than last year's, it doesn't really say that since 2018 the town council's been doing this because they haven't been. So please tell me you fixed that and I just forgot that you fixed that. It's near one of the bottom paragraphs. Yeah, that's not true. Since 2018 the town council has not. So why don't we just say the town council? Let's just be done with it. It was, it made sense when the select board was saying we did it over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. But we didn't do any of those things in 2018 because, you know, we didn't, we didn't exist. We weren't here. Well, so. we didn't, you know, that's not true. We did, you did sanctuary, I think. No, we did, one of our very first actions was the human rights. Yep. Did the human rights at select board. Yep. Uh, no. We'd already done it. So I guess it could so, say since 2019, because we did Black History Month, Puerto Rico Heritage, Tibet Day, Race, Amity, and Human Rights Day all in 2019. Exactly. Okay, so what is this? The okay, so officially we have to have this come back up on the floor. So I'll, I'll move to reopen, what is it, reopen? What's the formal? Reconsider. reconsider. I'll move to reconsider the Human Rights Day proclamation. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Now, discussion. 
on so this, we would like the following additional I change. Am, I am happy with either saying since 2019 or taking out the phrase since 2019 and just saying the town council issues annual, something like that. Whatever makes more sense to you guys. I just so don't want to say we did the things. Second, the third from last paragraph, it would say, whereas the town council. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Is there any other change? So that is a motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Any further changes? All those in favor, say aye. Aye. And opposed? Abstain. Before we adjourn, that was that a motion for the revision or a motion to approve the whole thing? Just making sure we know what we're just. It's a motion to revise. The whole thing is amended? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. And all of this was in 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, anything else? Mr. Bockelman, you look puzzled. Okay. I just want to, I just, just want to make sure. Okay. Now, are we ready for a motion to adjourn? We have one. And was it seconded? Okay. All those in favor of adjournment, raise your hand and say aye. Aye. Okay, now we end the meeting.